This is using density as a conversion factor. And I highly recommend doing this instead of using the density equation and rearranging it using algebra. Um, a lot of students are a little iffy on their algebra and they end up doing the algebra wrong and getting the answer wrong. So let's just do dimensional analysis and get the answer right. So a drop of gasoline has a mass of 22 milligrams and a density of 0.754 grams per cubic centimeter. What is its volume in cubic centimeters? So this one isn't as crazy as the last one, but there's still some words in there. So we read the words, and now we're going to write down the numbers. 22 milligrams, 0.754. This fraction is written with a slash because on the computer, it's just a lot easier to do it that way. When you write it on your paper with your hand and your pencil, make it a vertical fraction so that you are more aware that there's a numerator and a denominator. So I'm going to do grams over cubic centimeters. Otherwise, students tend to see that grams per cubic centimeter is just like one lump of a unit. It's actually two different units. What are they asking? The volume. volume in cubic centimeters. So we're trying to get to cubic centimeters. We have to decide which of these things are we going to start with. What do you think? The single unit. Milligrams. We can't use that to convert one thing into another. We can use this one as a conversion factor. We want to start with this. So we're going to start with milligrams. And then we have to figure out how to get from milligrams to cubic centimeters. So we might look at this and say, oh, well, we can use this to convert between grams and cubic centimeters. So if I got to grams, I could use that to get to cubic centimeters. So milligrams to grams? Yeah, and then milligrams to grams. Oh, yeah, we could just do that in one step. We can do that. There we are. The only way you can get good at this is to practice, OK? Two arrows, two conversion factors. 22 milligrams times, times, milligrams to grams to cubic centimeters, milligrams to grams to cubic centimeters. Milligrams comes down here. Are you seeing the pattern of this? Once you get the path, it just kind of falls into place. I get the units in, cross them out, and then I look for numbers. Milligrams to grams. I need the meaning of the metric prefix. 10 to the minus, 10 to the minus 3. So it's 10 to the minus 3. Grams is 1 milligram. 1 times 10 to the minus 3, 1 milligram. That's not the only way you can write that, but that's how I'm always going to do it in lecture, to be consistent. You can also write 1 gram as 1,000 milligrams, but then people get confused and start telling me that a thousand grams is a milligram and that's like telling me that a foot is 5,280 miles. It's ridiculous. It's backwards. But this pattern of milli means 10 to the minus 3, you never put milli and 10 to the minus 3 together. The train agrees with me. This is the density that was given. 0.754 has to stay with the grams, so it's going to go in the bottom. There's no deciding, do I multiply by the density or divide by the density? The units are telling us what to do. I think it's better than algebra. So I've got 22 times 1 EE minus 3 divided by 0.754. Zero point zero two nine one seven. My iPad's getting tired. And the unit cubic centimeters. How many sig figs? Two. Two. Twenty two milligrams. That's a whole number, but it's not a counting number or a defined quantity or an integral part of an uh, equation. That's a measurement. It's got two sig figs. This is exact. 
This density is a measured quantity. It is not exact either. But this is two sig figs, three sig figs. We go with the smallest. And so we have 0 0.029 cubic centimeters. Two sig figs because of the 22 milligrams. And then the not, so the leading zeros Leading zeros don't count. If we put that in scientific notation, those goes those go away. Any questions? Yes. This seven objects, that's counting. Can I count milligrams? <coughs> Are they discrete objects? No, they're not. And that's tricky. The whole numbers just mess with your mind. Look, like, yeah, it was 22. That's, it's just 22. No. So most of the time, you know, so I guess you could call this a hack, too. You're, you're going to be correct more often than not if you assume that nothing is exact, <laughs> right? Um, the exception would be those metric prefixes. Um, that'll mess you up. But the other stuff like this, just assume that it's not an exact number. Anything that's measured, you know, if we said, you know, 25 people, well, yeah, that's exact. You can count 25 people and be exact. Any other questions? Yes. Can you explain um, the three, how it's three six figs? In this one? Like the really long number and then getting the 2.9 times 10 to the negative 2 is in there? Um, this is two sig figs. Okay. Because leading zeros are not significant figures. Okay. Okay. So the 22 is where we got this? Issue. The 22 is what limited us because this only has two significant figures. Okay. It's a whole number, but it's not a counting number. And so it is measured. It's just measured to the nearest one milligram. Okay. 